hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for only stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop updates on twist of fate did i still doubt palavi ria tells his rambi's life and he has the right to decide she apologizes for disappointing them and asks them to let rambi decide rambi is glad ria tells she isn't ready to marry Ariane feels Rhea has changed completely. Palavi tells Rhea understood what Dida was trying to do. She's proud of Rhea and tells Dida wanted to show Pachi that if she can move on, Rambi can also move on. She's glad Rhea understood this and stepped back. Ashki gets restless thinking of Pachi and wants to get her reply. Ashok finds him awake and tells he didn't come to spy. He was passing by and saw him restless. He asks him what is happening and why he isn't at peace. Ashke tells since he proposed to Pachi, she didn't talk to him, that she had disconnected his call and switched off the phone. He doubts she got upset with him. Ashok asks him to give Pachi time. She might be in shock because his proposal was unexpected. Ashke tells she doesn't do drama in front of people. He knows her. Ashok asks him to meet her at the office tomorrow. Ashke feels she will refuse him again. Ashok asks him to be positive. Tells Apache might have liked his proposal and she will discuss the matter with her family and come to them with her consent. Ashke tells him Rhea is Apache's sister and that Rhea is going to marry Rambi. Ashok tells he knows it and that's why he congratulated Rambi and gives him hopes that Apache would say yes to him. Ashke tells Rhea liked him for Apache. Ashok asks him to stay confident. Shana hugs Dede and weeps and tells she tried to tell Apache what's right and what's wrong for her but Apache is lying to her. Daddy knows Pachi doesn't want to decide according to Rambi's decision and knows Pachi's frame of mind. She doesn't want Pachi to refuse Ashke. Shana tells Pachi she should move on. Ashke loves her and wants to marry her. Daddy also feels Ashke is right for Pachi and tells Ashke loves her. Even Rambi loves her. She doesn't doubt Rambi's love and tells even love grows old. Its passion, its passion ends and ego is born. That ego makes a relationship turn into a challenge. She knows Rambi and Pachi loves each other a lot. Rhea can't love Lambri and Ashke can't love Pachi to that level. She feels both Rambi and Pachi have hurt each other. Their relationship is over and life can pass without love because when love leaves their lives, it takes away pain and sorrow along with it. She also feels Rambi and Pachi should feel separated. Shana asks her to explain this to Pachi. Dida wants Pachi to decide on her own and tells that Pachi will prove them wrong because she is deeply hurt and needs time to calm her heart. She's sure Pachi will listen to her. But the daddy and daddy ask Rhea if she doesn't love them and wants to live with them. They ask Rhea why she refused to marry Rambi when she loves them so much. They ask her to become their bow and stay with them forever. Rhea tells she loves them and wants to stay with them. She wants their happiness but she doesn't need a marital relationship with Rambi to stay in the house. She tells Rambi is her friend and can stay with them without marrying him. She's happy and there shouldn't be any rule that she should marry Rambi to live with the family. She doesn't want to lose the rights of the family and asks them to let things stay as it is. Dida tells Pachi can come back into Rambi's life. She doesn't want Rhea to suffer again. Rhea tells she doesn't want to get into that situation, that she wants to avoid complications. The situation has changed and she isn't the old Rhea who was filled with ego, cheating and lies. She doesn't want to go back to her past and become the old Rhea. She asks them to let Rambi choose Pachi if he loves her. He's free to make a choice and if Pachi loves Rambi then, she decides to come back. Rambi overhears her and is stunned by her reply. Ran Rhea tells she doesn't want to become the old Rhea. She explains to Dida that Rambi and Pachi will decide for their lives and it's their choice to return to each other if they want. This, that they can become mature and they can let them decide by their self-will. Rhea is, Rambi is glad to hear this and is proud of Rhea. They ask Rhea if she doesn't love Rambi. Rhea tells she isn't the old Rhea who was mad to get Rambi in her life. She's the new Rhea who wants to stay with the family and find peace. She wants the Kali family and tells it's wrong if Dida chooses her as Pachi's replacement in Rambi's life. She doesn't want to be chosen just because Pachi has come back. She has no problem if Rambi decides to choose Pachi and marry her again, that she will be happy with Rambi's decision. Dida blesses Rhea. Rambi recalls Rhea's words and never expected such a drastic change in her. Arya meets him and tells him he has seen Pallavi and Vikram fighting. Rambi asks about the matter. Arya asks him to guess the reason. Rambi understands that they are fighting about his marriage. Arya asks him to talk to the family clearly and end the confusion. Rambi tells he doesn't know what he wants. He has no clarity and his life is getting complicated. 
Arian tells he would get fainting after seeing Rambi's enormous confusion. Rambi asks him to go. Arian tells he won't leave Rambi and go. He knows Rambi needs him. Rambi tells he wants to stay alone for some time. Alian makes a leave. Data reaches Rambi to emotionally torture him and tells he doesn't take care of himself and is playing with his life and happiness. He asks what he did. She doesn't want the old things to repeat and tells Pratchett has come back but not in his life. She asks him to understand why Ria doesn't want to marry him. She fears that time will pass and Rambi would spend his life alone, that he would get her neither Rambi or Pratchett. Rambi gets more confused after hearing this and doesn't know what to do and sees the moon and wants to know what to do, that his life comes to calm. Ashley comes to the office and asks the staff to Lily if Pratchy has come. She tells Pratchy didn't come but Ashok has come and is waiting for him in his cabin. She wishes him all the best and tells Ashok has told them about the proposal and they all wish Pratchy agrees to him. Pratchy comes to the office and also gets to the wishes for Ashok's proposal. The staff lady thinks Ashok is the best and Pratchy would look the best with him. Ashok gets then seeing Pratchy coming and rushes to Ashok and tells him that Pratchy is coming. Ashok and Ashok pretend to be engrossed in work when Pratchy comes there. Ashok tells the laptop got short and maybe it's also nervous like him. Pratchy greets them. Ashok tells they were discussing the quotation. Pratchy hands over the resignation letter. Ashok asks Walt who is resigning. She tells she is resigning from work. Ashok is stunned by her decision and fears he has disappointed her a lot. Rambi comes to his office. The manager asks him to have a look at the presentation once. Rambi tells he trusts him, likes the presentation, gets lots in Pratchy's thoughts which angers him. He scolds the manager by mistake, realizes he did wrong. Pratchy tells she's thankful to Ashok for trusting and giving her work. Goes to her cabin to collect her staff, her stuff. Ashok is stunned. Ashke asks Pratchy why she's resigning. Pratchy tells he knows the reason for it. He tells he doesn't know it and wants to know it from her. She tells she's regarded him a good friend and she can't think of having any other relationship with him. She asks why he didn't understand. He doesn't understand that she can't marry him. Ashke tells he wants to know the reason for it. She refuses to accept his proposal because she isn't ready for any relationship. She respects him a lot and tells she didn't tell him anything in front of the people because she was in shock. She clears the matter and rejects his proposal and apologizes to him, tells it will get awkward if she works in the same office from now. She tells she's very sorry and she doesn't want to talk about him. She feels her resignation is the best option for them. Even Ashok fails to stop her, Pratchy makes a leave. Ashok tells Ashke that he will talk to Pratchy. Ashke gets heartbroken and cries. Rambi doesn't pay attention to the pre presentation. He reacts in anger and asks the staff to leave him alone. The manager asks his approval to send the files. Rambi apologizes to them and tells him he isn't able to focus. He doesn't want Pratchy's thoughts to run through his mind. Feels everyone has moved on in their lives. Pratchy has moved on. Even Rhea has moved on. He also wants to move on and wonders why he's stuck in his life. The Pratchy was okay with Ashke's proposal and thinks to go out and have some fresh air. He limits his mind from thinking about Pratchy. Pratchy thinks of Rambi and Rhea. Ashok stops Pratchy from leaving. He tells her that she is his daughter and she can't leave. She asks him not to stop her. He tells he won't let her get hurt. He asks her to fight with Ashke and scold him but not leave the company. He asks her to not leave him, that he can't afford to lose her. She tells she would not stay back. He tells they would lose the big project if she leaves the job and asks her to complete the work she had taken in her hands, that she won't leave without giving notice. She asks him to understand that he can't stop her from leaving. Ashke comes there, but she gets reminded of the proposal again.